The bunker has been a well requested feature for well over half a decade and since patch 119 we finally got our request granted but now we've had a little while I thought it was about time we asked the question is it actually worth exploring plus sharing any useful tips or tricks you might find useful. If you like the video please leave a like or a subscribe it really helps me out but without further ado let's get into the video. Wait what? Well, this isn't making the final cut. Starting off, we should tackle the basics. The bunker is located in the southwest of Livonia, and at present there are no bunkers or announced plans to release it on official Genaris. So focusing on Livonia, a few things need to be considered. Firstly, getting all the way to the bunker for some players is a task in itself considering how far south it is. But even if you have no issue getting to it, which most regular players won't, you can't just head straight there from spawning in. This is because you need to find something to even enter it a punch card. Punch cards open the bunker doors and at present there is no other way to do it. But these cards come with a few issues themselves. First, there's only ever 5 spawning in on the server, making them extremely rare. Second, you can only find them in contaminated areas, meaning before you even get one, you're gonna need to find a full NBC suit and explore at least one toxic zone. Alternatively, you could wait outside one and murder an unsuspecting player to steal theirs, but good luck sleeping that Night, you fucking monster. <clears throat> also note that these cards are reusable, losing one quality level each use, but it's more than possible to find a couple in a single toxic zone. Once you've managed to acquire one of these cards and you finally get to the bunker doors, the bunker doors will remain open for around 5 full minutes, so it might be worth hanging around and making sure you're not followed to avoid any surprises, especially considering they're slow to open and loud when they do. You can always open the bunker from the inside so it doesn't matter if the doors close behind you. But let's take the bunker itself. The bunker is multiple floors of zombieless darkness that offers you many rooms, high spawn rates and a secret area. But when I say dark I mean you're gonna need a light source. A flare is perfect but torches work just as well with night vision goggles being useful too. There shouldn't be any zombies inside but watch out for opportunistic players. In terms of loot, make sure you check everywhere, even climbing on top of crates and checking in others. I'd personally say the bunker offers some of the, if not the, best loot in all of DayZ but like anywhere else it can be a coin flip. You'll get backpacks, high tier guns, explosives, tools, equipment and so on. Unless you're very unlucky and have had someone loot before you, you should come out of it pretty stacked. It can be looted quicker than a toxic zone most of the time and other than battery or flare life, there's no real time limit on how long you can spend in there, though it should take no more than 10 to 15 minutes if you're really thorough. And there is a second door that acts as an exit to the outside world at the top of the stairs at the back. However, keep in mind this back entrance can be opened from the outside, but when you use the punch card, in the tower it only remains open for around 5 seconds meaning you'll need a second player waiting directly outside of the door to slide through and let you in but unlike the main door entering this way is almost completely silent but in order to survive long enough to even get there you're gonna have to have the skills to do it and by clicking here and watching this you'll not only learn these necessary skills but also be supplementing your existing ones and as always until next time